Hello everyone, I'm a little late today, Thursday, June 30th, 1.15 p.m., day number four of my five-day fast. Um, today is rough, I'll be honest with you, definitely worse than yesterday, um, and I'm like super busy with work, it's awful, but so today I'm fasting for um, the secular realm um, of authority, the governors, the government in general, um, because we're kind of seeing this like basically the people that are in charge of things in governments across the world are psychotic. So what we're seeing is this woke new world order, which has a lot of corporate um, connections and things like that. So it's, I guess it's not even just the governments, but just the people running the show in general. My enemies, that's who I'm fasting for. Now, if I was left up to my own devices... Um, and I didn't serve the God I served, I would hate your guts, to be honest. I don't want to fast for you. I hate you. But um, my God requires that we pray for our enemies and fast for our enemies so you can thank him. That's what I'm doing. Um, so yes, the people running the show, uh, the psychos running the show, the Klaus Schwab's of the world, the Putin's of the world, the Joe Biden's, the Nancy Pelosi's, the Xi Jinping's, um, the, the Macron's, the Trudeau's, all those people. I'm, I'm fasting for all those. So we have this weird situation going on where like the West, the NATO, NATO if you will, traditional Christendom minus the United States, which isn't traditionally part of Christendom, um, has been taken over by a mob of woke lunatics. So they're pushing all kinds of things. Gay stuff, LG, whatever, transgender, population control. Now they're apparently trying to starve us. All kinds of stuff is going on with them. So we're under their control, forced vaccinations. But then on the other side of things, there's another uh, New World Order lining up right now and I call that the Dragon Alliance. So we have the Rainbow Alliance and we have the Dragon Alliance. Um, and so so basically how do you want to be persecuted if you're a Catholic? Do you want to be persecuted by the rainbow crowd or do you want to be persecuted by the dragons, the GG pings of the world? Because that's what we're up against. So they're trying to form their own alliance or they have successfully formed it. Russia, China, um, Iran many of the Muslim states, um, probably North Korea, that sort of thing. And so, and whoever else decides to join them, because here's what's happening. The dollar, as it goes down and down and down and crashes, is going to become irrelevant, and they think they're going to come in, which they might be able to, don't know, probably looks like it's going that way, and have a new currency and make America obsolete. Maybe we're going to get invaded. Who knows? That's why I'm fasting. Um, and so I really want to fast for the secular authorities in all of their capacities today and draw attention to the fact that there's a bunch of creepy, psychotic criminals running everything right now. Um, and it's terrible. And of course, we see this alliance with the church and the woke agenda. It's just all really bad. And by the way, when I do these fasts, right, I don't plan them out so necessarily. So like when I woke up Monday morning, I was like, oh, okay, we're doing a five day or like I just I'm docile to the inspirations of the spirit, right? Um, and I didn't know what I was going to be fasting for other than the overall theme of restoring order, restoring the patriarchy, proper authority, things like that. And then as I go, I kind of like the day before, I'm like, okay, so my fasting intention for tomorrow will be this. So I was kind of pleasantly surprised to see all hell break loose yesterday because my fasting intention was for the church and then all hell broke loose in Rome. Pelosi, who's excommunicated basically by her bishop, was able to receive communion with the Pope. That was a slap in the face. And it was basically the whole reason why I was fasting was on full display in real time yesterday. He came out with some document tr bashing the, the TLM again. Like, I don't think he realizes we have statues getting beheaded. We have pregnancy centers burning down. We have spray paint. We have all kinds of desecrations going on. We're being threatened. Supreme Court, Catholic Supreme Court justices are being threatened. And the Pope decides he's going to come out with something about making the, the trads basically the enemy. Like, it, it's just absurd. I mean, we know it's hap We know it has to happen, but... Anyway, that's not the point of today. The point of today is the secular version of that. And so I'm fasting to restore order in the secular realm. And if you follow Catholic prophecy, 
you know about the destruction that's coming in the rise of the great monarch to restore order and reign over a period of peace and a triumph of Christendom once again. That's what we're facing. So, but it's going to be ugly before that. Much calamity, war, definitely war, um, many chastisements. And so I'm fasting though that that be lessons and the triumph of legitimate order be restored sooner than later because this is just sad and painful to watch. Um, as far as where does America fit into all this, um, well, if you've been following my channel, then you know how I feel about the foundations of America and the lie. Somehow we've been fed this lie that America was a Christian nation, all stuff, where there's more um, evidence that the founding fathers were deists than anything. And America was born of the French Revolution. America was born in the lodges. America was born from the Enlightenment. So maybe you think that's a good thing. Um, that's fine. But what we have done is we have traded in our security, I guess you can say, our, um, at least as Catholics, we've traded in a, you know, a power structure, a monarchy for a piece of paper. And this is the result. So I don't know why we're surprised that no one cares about a piece of paper, which is the constitution, but here we are. So anyway, um, that's all I got for today. I'm fasting for the secular authorities, fasting for proper order to be restored. And these crazy lunatics are obviously dragging us into World War Three. So I'm Hoping that that isn't as bad as all the prophets say it's going to be. And I'm super hungry. And I'm super busy with work. And I'm miserable. So pray for me.